Okay. Hey, hey guys, Old Bitter Cars Workshop. Been a long day. Anyways, um, here is my next project. A little Ford Courier pickup made by AMT. I was actually wondering if this was a Datsun, but it's not. It doesn't have the right lines. So Ford Courier pickup. This is a step side um, model. I, I think she, I think this one here was offered by AMT when back when. Something like that. So, pretty cool truck. I don't have very many parts for it. Excuse me. I got a frame, I got an interior bucket, and dashboard, and that's pretty much it. So anyways, we're going to make the truck into a 4x4. Um, I, I think the AMT kit, the original AMT kit, has, I think it's a 4x4 and also a 2 drive, I think. So anyways, here's the frame we're going to use. And it's actually this kit here. It's a Datsun. Datsun pickup kit. So it's um, the frame is fairly close to what it should be at. Uh, probably it's just a tad, I think it's a tad longer. No big deal. We'll make it work. But this is a four wheel drive frame, so it'll work. Um, in real life, I've never seen one of these Ford Couriers in four wheel drive. It's been mostly two wheel drive. Uh, I'll tell you a little story. I went back when we were kids. We had a little Ford Courier like this, and actually, me and a buddy had one, and we shoehorned a Ford two two eighty nine in it. So, yeah, that was um, quite the thing because to do the spark plugs on it, you had to take the front clip off to <laughs> to do the spark plugs or exhaust on it because everything was just so tight. We hacked off the inside, and oh, it was a real hassle. We did a Datsun pickup that same way too. We stuck a small block Chevy in it. Anyways, silly things young kids do. So, anyways, but this one here is going to be with a four cylinder. Um, I do have the four cylinder out of the Datsun kit. Give it this one here. So, these, uh. Excuse me. Uh, these, uh. I think I actually made Mazdas too. I get the Ford Courier. Uh, and Mazda were jointed at one time, or either the uh, either Mazda or Ford or Ford Courier, like one of the two, bought each other out or whatever. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure how that was, but they had the uh, Mazda pickup similar to this, and also Ford Courier. Kind of interesting, you know. Pretty clean. I don't have a front grill for it, so we're gonna have to custom make gr custom make a grill. It's not really isn't a big deal so this can be a little 4 by 4 pickup so is it a parts box truck and I had a, bun I had a bunch of stuff I bought while back and this was one one of the kits I was in it and we have the back piece for it and all that with the bucket inside and dashboard and so forth and we're gonna make something cool with it it will also have a hood too I believe Let's see Hopefully we hood. Here's the hood. Has a little hood scoop on it. Got there. Got uh, interior bucket. Back part of the cab. Something. Uh, what else we got? Got a bumper. Something. Bring it out. We got a rat support. Bucket seats. 
And we got no dashboard. Son of a bitch. Thought we had one. So anyway, we got some parts. So we have to make do with what we got. And, you know, go from there. I was under the impression I had the damn dashboard for this thing. Uh, I guess not. Well, that'd be custom. <laughs> custom part for it, I guess. Uh, this must be part of the... Um, uh, 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 firewall, I guess. That kind of sucks. No damn uh, dashboard. Oh well. Whatever. We had spare parts. We'll make something. So, yeah. It's going to be a custom little 4 before pickup. Uh, probably jack it up a little bit. Nothing crazy. Anyways, those are the parts and pieces we got. We're going to make something out of it. Something cool. So, uh, anyways. Thanks for watching. Thanks to subscribers. Comments and likes on my videos. And, uh, yeah. See you the next one. Hit before I fall asleep here. Alright. Take it easy, guys.